In the pursuit of expanding the frontiers of space exploration, SpaceX's Starship has undergone multiple transformations. Among the many upgrades and changes, one aspect that stands out is the ongoing development of the nose cone. This has made Starship operate more smoothly, contributing to perfecting its functions for a direct plunge into space. Let's find out all the changes and upgrades to Starship's nose cone that will blow your mind in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Recently at Starbase, a collection of nose cones with a shiny and smooth exterior that is hard to spot flaws when looking at them. It's the important component responsible for managing airflow and reducing aerodynamic drag during high-speed space travel. Throughout the development of Starship, numerous modifications have been made to the nose cone alone. Let's take a look back at the proposed designs of the Starship from its early days. In 2016, initially, the Starship was envisioned to have a relatively blunt and round nose cone with a large diameter. However, as the prototypes were completed, the nose cone became more streamlined and refined over time. This may be due to Elon Musk's inspiration from the movie The Dictator. Elon shared this in an interview with Joe Rogan, the scene in which Cohen's Admiral Aladdin, the authoritarian ruler of the fictional nation of Wadiya, evaluated that the rocket his engineers had built. The vehicle had a blunt front end that made Aladdin unhappy. It is too round on the top. It needs to be pointy, the dictator told the head of the nuclear program. It is too round on the top. It needs to be pointy. Then, Elon Musk made a comment that it looks cooler. It's quite fun when aesthetics are completely combined with the awesome power of rockets. But the reality is that a rounded curve would be an ideal shape for a cone designed to launch into space. However, it's not that the pointed cone has no effect, it's just that it has less effective air resistance. Known as the Starship Mark I, the prototype played a role as a learning experience taking about eight months to build and a few weeks to destroy. Its cone-shaped nose appeared sharper and was partially equipped with smaller header fuel tanks, but it was never fully installed. SpaceX temporarily placed it on top of the Starship Mark I's body as a focal point for CEO Elon Musk's 2019 update event. The Mark I nose cone was removed moved immediately after the event, while the more critical part of the rocket, the body, was taken to a nearby launch pad for testing. After significant hardware shuffling, as the initial prototypes were retired, SpaceX quickly iterated on the assembly process and cone design for the first high-altitude prototype of the Starship, incorporating the addition of two new sets of flaps at the top and tail. These flaps served as control surfaces, functioning similarly to the rudders of an aircraft. When combined with the nose cone, they aid in controlling the rocket's continued flight through the air, maintaining the correct orientation without veering or tumbling. The addition of these flaps facilitates the smooth execution of Starship's vertical landing approach, flipping belly first and then using a combination of small thrusters and the four larger flaps to descend stably back to Earth. Imagine how a skydiver can adjust their body, arms, and legs to control their direction and attitude. The Starship utilizes the two sets of forward and aft flaps to achieve a very similar level of control. The first prototype equipped with flaps since Starship Mark I is the Starship SN8, or serial number 8. SpaceX successfully propelled the rocket, propelled the rocket to its maximum altitude, completed the installation of the new nose cone, and completed a high-altitude test of 50 meters. One of the other noticeable advancements in the Starship nose cone is the transition from rough exterior surfaces to smoother metal walls. Previously, SpaceX utilized a welding technique that involves assembling multiple conical rings made from thin stamped sheets or gores of steel. These rings were welded together along their circumference, creating a nose cone characterized by a rough and grainy appearance, lacking the sleekness and durability required for space travel. 
In recent years, SpaceX has revolutionized the construction process, leading to a significant enhancement in the nose cone's appearance. The company has increased the size of the welded sections and reduced the number of stacked sections, simplifying the assembly process and reducing the number of welds required. On top of that, SpaceX has incorporated laser welding technology, which utilizes fiber lasers to achieve precise and robust welds. This method offers superior your strength and durability, ensuring that the nose cone can withstand the extreme conditions of space travel. Additionally, the application of a process called cold rolling has further strengthened the stainless steel used in the nose cone changing the shape of the metal through mechanical stress and resulting in increased strength and improved surface finish. That's why so far, we've been able to see great masterpieces. One of the nose cone's mission was to protect the Starship spacecraft during its entry into the atmosphere, and a key element in achieving this is the installation of a heat shield. The current design of the Starship nose cone includes the covering of the entire surface with heat shield tiles, which play a vital role in safeguarding the vehicle during its high-speed re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The heat shield tiles are meticulously designed and positioned to withstand the intense heat generated during atmospheric entry. As the Starship hurtles through the atmosphere at speeds of around 16,777 miles per hour, the heat shield tiles serve as a barrier, preventing the transfer of excessive heat to the underlying structure of the spacecraft. This protection ensures the structural integrity of the vehicle and the safety of its payload. In the early stages of development, the heat shield for SpaceX's Starship, the initial approach, centered around the use of individual tiles as a primary form of thermal protection during re-entry. This approach drew inspiration from established spacecraft re-entry systems that relied on similar tile-based designs. The tiles were strategically placed on the external surface of the spacecraft, forming a protective barrier against the extreme heat generated during atmospheric re-entry. However, despite the effectiveness of this method in previous spacecraft missions, it was not without its limitations. The intense conditions experienced during space travel include the extreme temperature differentials and aerodynamic forces increased the risk of tile failure. Even a small gap or damage to a single tile could compromise the integrity of the entire heat shield, potentially jeopardizing the spacecraft and its occupants. With each re-entry, the tiles would inevitably experience wear and tear, necessitating extensive refurbishment or replacement. This compromised the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of the spacecraft for frequent launches and landings, where rapid turnaround times were crucial. Given these limitations, SpaceX recognized the need for a change in the design of the heat shield for the Starship there needs to be a way to hold the brick in place so that it doesn't fall under extreme circumstances or any vibrations. SpaceX's initial breakthrough in this area was the use of friction stir welding directly on the exterior of the propellant tank and Starship's skin. By embedding small metal tiles inside each cast brick, they can be easily placed by aligning the brick and pressing it onto a trio of pegs like a plug, which then locks it into place. On most of the Starship body, SpaceX will then apply pre-made ceramic fiber blankets before the bricks are installed on top of the steel sandwich panel and blanket. Compared to NASA's space shuttle and the Russian Buran, which flew with non-ablative heat shield tiles, Starship's thermal protection system is extremely straightforward. Since Starship Prototype 20, SpaceX has opted to install all heat tiles on one side of the spacecraft. We have also witnessed its durability and heat resistance during the recent launch of Starship 24. Unlike the previous tests of Starship 20 or static fire tests where the heat shield tiles would fall off upon ignition, Ship 24, when launched into space, had securely attached heat shields that did not detach or fall off at Starbase. All in all, as we witness the groundbreaking progress in the development of Starship, there is a sense of anticipation and hope for even more significant improvements in the future. The continuous upgrades and refinements to the Starship highlight Elon Musk's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space technology. With each iteration, Starship brings us closer to a new era of space exploration, where ambitious missions to Mars and beyond become more feasible than ever before. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and we'll see you soon.